Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be bringing you another video on anchor and rotating. So, in this video we will be going over slums. I've done all the other maps, so this is pretty much the last map that I have to do. I'm just going to be using general class to get around the map. Explain to you guys what you want to do and what your goals are to accomplish on this map when you are playing the anchor position. So basically, really, this, uh, this hill... Off the bat, depending on if you're on this side or that side, your whole goal is to hold this spawn, this area, for the next hill. Because the next hill, as you guys might know, it will rotate down to this area here. So in holding this position, uh, basically, you kind of just want to make sure that they don't get past bricks. Bricks is the most commonly favored side to break through, so a lot of teams will try to be real aggressive. That's uh, Another thing is FMJ. A lot of the time I use that on my weapon, it really benefits... Uh, this side of the map because you can shoot through these walls and you don't really have to worry about pieces of cover and you can back up and all that sort of nonsense whenever you're on the other side your goal is to kind of break through this side so most of the time you'll be find, finding yourself fighting and pushing the side so let's say you're on rotation off this hill your goal is to back up give your team the spawn get to this wall and basically just hold position once you're at about here and your team starts spawning so around this point of the hill oh, at the, at the point of this hill, you should be back here. Give your team the spawn. Give your team the first wave. So let's say your whole team spawns here after, you know, a few deaths. All right, that's the first wave. That's when you need to push up. Uh, you, what you want to do is you want to hold down this street. So better than sitting back there and, you know, you know, just dying from this cop car and then flipping out, your best bet is to, you know, be a little bit more aggressive and try to trade with the teammates. So you have SMG here to bait with you. So you have SMG, you know, mid-map, kind of like, you know, coming back and forth. And let's say if you need help. So if you're at this red car, uh, chances are you'll see, you know, one or two players. Or you can use this as well. And once you need help, the player comes back to the police car and pretty much kills kills with you and you team shot. It's pretty much how this works. That's how you hold that anchor. So now let's go over the rotation. So at about, avoid the, um, by the way. Um, just kind of uh, disregard the timer that is under the minimap. I'm not actually using it uh, to, you know, any sort of the video. It's just that we're on the hardpoint hard game mode. So as that hill moves, just don't even regard it. I'm going over this hill, and now I'm going over to the rotation from this hill to that hill that actually just, you know, came up. So at about, I'd say 30 seconds, as you're being aggressive on this, you know, area, at about 30 seconds, you want to start being real aggressive. So you want to literally give it up, you know, give them that spawn. So fight this off with your team. And what you want to do is you want to come and rotate this way. Chances are the team might already be here. So you got to be real careful uh, when pushing around this brick because a lot of teams will just sit here and try to cut the anchor off so that he doesn't get the good spawns for his team. You want to just, you know, take your time, check out the middle, check out the garage, check out those head glitches. Your goal is to kind of just try to get the garage or to the back of the map as fast as possible. Re really, this, these two hills are the most important, that hill and that hill. So, you know, even sometimes at 45, man, especially if you have a good lead and the other team doesn't have streaks, get a good early rotation because the faster you get back here and if you can hold this long enough, it's going to benefit your team. So basically, when you rotate through that garage side, you want to get over towards uh, this laundromat. Or come over to this car and basically cut off blue because if you're rotating through that right side of the map, that means the other team is spawning by blue and pushing that hill. So chances are if they start rotating, they're going to try to cut you off through graveyard or go through middle or come over here. That's why I said be real careful with you know these head glitches and stuff because some teams might rotate real early and catch you. Uh, but if you do make it back here, be real careful about them already on these head glitches or them pushing you around here. Uh, try to have maybe another player with you rotate so you're not alone. You don't uh, get caught rotating by yourself and tr killed and then your rotation was pointless. So just try pretty much to get back here. Uh, when anchoring this hill, uh, the anchor usually is you know up top on the street. You know Just putting fire into anything that he sees across the map. Uh, sometimes a lot of teams will even have a player in the hill just pre-aiming the spawn, uh, which actually works quite a bit. You can just pre-aim this uh, laundry spawn kind of like this, and that will kind of block it. Some teams, some, Sometimes people might slip. And then what you do is as you're pre-aiming that spawn, you know, you have a teammate pushing up blue, 
a teammate pushing up grave garage and another team you know grave garage so you have two around here and that's iffy but what I like to do I find the best that is if you have a guy like if you have a guy in hill which is your anchor usually on this one at least you can kind of do something like this right actually not even like this you can just sit in the hill and just watch over yourself and then you have your other you have one player ready to rotate so this player that's ready to rotate is kind of just like right here helping the guy on hill and what Hard this guy identified. is doing is the other two that are pushed up garage and grave so let's say you have you know one two players here and here fighting right so the player up top is ready to is is ready to rotate he's the he's he's ready to rotate if one of if this guy dies he picks up right away if one if the guy in graveyard dies this guy moves the graveyard and the guy down, up top picks up right away and then let's say if there's if they're flooding blue street this guy's ready to fight off blue street with the anchor it's like common sense so it's best to have a guy ready to rotate two already hidden the positions and one guy in hill that's really uh best setup in my opinion for this hill i don't think there's really a better setup uh next at about you want to get this whole time because these two hills are op this map is op in the fact that if you can hold this top area of the map you can pretty much hold about 120 seconds on the hill so what you want to do is after about 45 seconds of hill time you want to have your anchor uh actually sit, stay here this might sound weird but to have your anchor stay here really really realistically an assault rifle isn't going to do much damage over by garage and over by this side of the map it's going to be kind of difficult so your best bet to do is to have your anchor stay back here as your teammates rotate so you don't want to leave your anchor on this street by yourself because essentially if you can hold this street up here as the anchor you're going to hold the spawn for this hill i mean not this hill this hill and that hill so you're going to sit here and guard you're pretty much going to do the same thing you did on this hill except you're going to move a little bit you're going to come up here. So you really don't have to rotate. But what your teammates have to do is they have to rotate over garage. And what they want to do is they want to obviously make sure that they haven't lost alley or garage side and hold this graveyard. What some teams might even do is they'll have one guy sit in the hill and one guy push out of the hill and clear out this blue street with them and then cut the grave. So now you cut grave, you cut garage, and then your anchor is sitting up on the street. So now all the anchor has to do at this point is just stay alive and be smart. All he has to do is sit up here in the street, put bullets, try and kill anything that he sees. I mean, if they're, if he's getting double teamed or rushed, all he has to do is back up, call for help. And usually what teams will do is they'll send a guy to come out the hill and fight this off with them. Or what he'll do is he'll flank them. So that guy's putting bullets into him up the street. This guy comes out the graveyard, shoot these guys in the back, blah, blah, blah. And boom, that's how you clear out the anchor again. That's pretty much how you hold down these two hills. Um, what other teams might do is if they notice nobody's pushing the street, the anchor will actually rotate over and help hill. What he can do is just look over this door window right here and just put a burst or two into anybody that's coming through the window, into the door rather. And that will actually help a lot because any teammate, any team mate that is in the hill will have easy kills that will be one shot and another thing like I said is if you have this guy over here on the fountain you know kinda just helping out his team this will actually benefit you guys as well because what you can do is off send the guy to rotate up the street and if this guy dies around here he'll still spawn back there because you can't block that corner you can't be staring at that corner and then your your anchors could easily just turn and just fight this off afterwards while he's helping Hill. <coughs> I'm sorry for that, guess. Oh, God. Got a little something in my nose. But anyways, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this map. Uh, really, on rotation, you're going to be fighting off the next hill. Uh, your goal is to kind of flip spawns and uh, Hard point don't push through the hill. Your best bet is after, you, after you're anchoring that hill and you're on rotation to this middle hill, Try to get through blue, push through blue and hold. If you can try, if you can get through blue and get a few kills here, you'll probably travel over to this way, check this area, and if 
there's nobody spawn there, you block the spawns, and they're, they're, they will be spawning behind your teammates, and you'll have spawn from the next hill. That's pretty much your goal. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the tutorials and the tips. Uh, if you guys uh, liked this video, give it a like. If you didn't, sorry. Maybe I'll, maybe you'll like the next one. Next one will be on breaking hills, and yeah, that'll be the conclusion of the hard point anchoring and breaking hills tutorials. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace.